YouTube channel. My name is Kevin. I'm Tarsha. This here is Conversations with the Crawleys. We do conversations about faith, family, relationships, and we do recaps, reviews, and commentaries on our favorite shows. This one is all about Ready to Love. It's not Dallas. It's Fort Worth. Same difference to Same me. Difference, they were right, right beside each other. Right. That's why they always say <laughs> Dallas slash Fort Worth. <laughs> They're twin cities. They're there. Uh, so if this is content that you enjoy, you know what to do by now. Hit that subscribe. Hit the like. Request notifications. And share. We'll see you in the comments. Consider becoming a member and checking out the merch store. So I still haven't gotten my check from, from Will Packer because of our idea that they're using this year of kind of making things a little easier um, as far as the, the cast. So we're at the second mixer. Mm -hmm. They don't get the mansion. I guess this is the B squad of the group. They don't get mansion. They Right, they got to be <laughs> at the hotel pool. Right. So I'm like, look, all right, I got this hotel for the next couple of days while I'm here. Yeah, I'll just come hang out at the pool. Oh, my gosh. So we got, we first meet of the, the B squad. I'm going to call them B squad right now. <laughs> call them B squad. Of the B squad, we get Vanessa, who is 35, and she's a flight mm -hmm. attendant. We find out early on that she was married to a white man, mm -hmm. but now she militant. <laughs> You said that she's militant. I don't know what happened, but it made her make a decision. She might have been at one MAGA re rally too many and been like, you know what? <laughs> I need to give a black man a chance. <laughs> Cause, oh, yes, I threw in the word militant, but she was like, she was like, I'm in my, I forgot how she put it, but she was essentially like, I'm in my pro-black experience. Right. I want a black man. It's like, okay. Right. We got Alonzo, who is 35. He's an insurance adjuster, mm -hmm. probably working for State Farm because he looked like he had on a Jake from State Farm <laughs> shirt on. Yeah, it's probably one of them big ones between that and Allstate. <laughs> yeah, especially in the DFW mm -hmm. area. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we also got a couple other people. We got Patricia, who is 35, and she's a tech recruiter. Mm -hmm. um, she's not originally from the DFW no. area. She moved there for her job, for her job in tech recruiting. Um, Chaz is 47. He's a data analytics person. Manager, yeah. Yep. Maya, who is healthcare IT, mm -hmm. and I'll just say her outfit was interesting. What do you say her outfit was interesting? It was, it, was, it was provocative, if I can put it that way. It was... Out of everybody else that was there? Hers was like, oh, okay, we coming like that. <laughs> I'm just, from a man's perspective, I was like, oh, we coming like that she early was on. Hey, she wanted to stand out. She did. <laughs> she did. Um, Laylin, I think was her name. I think that's how you pronounce it. Laylin. I think so. They, somebody said they're going to just call her Layla. Right. She's 40, cybersecurity. Now, mm -hmm. she did say that she was from um, from Sierra Leone. Yes. Okay. Jonathan, who's Nigerian, he's 36, recycling mm -hmm. owner, center owner. Mm -hmm. Now, he was married for two and a half years and has a child. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got Patrice, who is 42. And a transportation company owner. And we'll talk about how she's in her cougar stage right now. Um, and then Rashina, who is 38, and she's a salon owner. So those are our folks. Why does she have to be in her cougar stage? Because she prefers young men. No, she was like, and he ain't even the youngest. So she's like. <laughs> as long as they, she should have said, as long as they were an adult. As long as they didn't graduated high school. Let's put it like that. Okay? Because <laughs> the way she was eyeing and stuff, I was like, she might be cruising DFW High School, whatever it might be. Um, no. So it is men's choice this time. Right. Right. So in the previous mixer, the ladies had the choice because there were more men than ladies. Mm -hmm. So the ladies had the opportunity to make the choice. Mm -hmm. In this scenario, we've got more um, more ladies than men. So mm -hmm. the men are making the choice of who they're going to let go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so Rashina does say that she was going more for Lamar. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, who is, and Rashina, I think she said she was divorced since 42. Yes. Uh, excuse me, not since 42. Divorced since she was, so, since 2014. Yeah, 14. <laughs> and she's got a kid. Right. And Lamar is divorced as well. Now, yes, Lamar is the one that he a little kinky himself because the questions he was asking was like, yeah. uh, on my on the first date, um, I'll take you to a nudist colony. And the girls was like, hold on. Wait, first date? First date? Nah, bro, you need to slow your roll. So Lamar might be... In the same circle, maybe not as deep in the circle as our boy from last season. Was no, that's it? a different circle. That's, that's still a, a different circle. It's a different circle, but he at least adjacent. <laughs> in the lane, right. He in that same lane. Who was it, Marvin or something like yes, that? Yes, Oh, boy, who was like, he into... He's yeah. a 
uh, I don't know what the men's term, but dominatrix. He was, he's into that lifestyle. Yeah. That, right? Um, so Lamar asking them questions, it was like, is that is that how he found out about the show? Did his boy, I think his name was Marvin, did his boy be like, hey, Marvin, or Lamar, go ahead and fill out this application. <laughs> you might find your person here. And we find out he's been married twice. Yes. From the we don't trailer. find that originally. Mm-hmm. We find that a little, yeah, in the mm-hmm. trailer for the next week that he's been married at least twice. Well, not at least, but he's been married twice. Mm-hmm. Um, Jonathan is Phil and Maya. Mm-hmm. Um, and he says that his marriage ended because of communication, mm-hmm. which is a key piece. Right, because you got to go in the next relationship. Who wasn't communicating? Right. That's the question. That's the question. Did you not communicate? Did she not communicate? Or were did y'all you, both not, not communicate? And how did you change your communication? Right. What's your communication like now? <laughs> um, Patrice, we find out, is a little inventor. Yes, she is. She's invented a device. Um, I'm trying to figure out why it had to cost 35. Did she say 35000 to invent the device? I was confused by that. The amount she was talking well, about. Well, I mean, we were talking about molding and testing and oh, okay, creating. You know, you may it, have it to. Can, it can be that, right? Expensive to come, right? It can be kind yeah. of expensive to do. You got to do a few tests. You got to hire somebody to, especially if it's an electrical device, to work Make out the sure. electronics and all that fun stuff. Yeah, that's so probably I get true. That. Um, they were like, "Well, is it is it like a flower?" No, it's not the rose, ladies. <laughs> so whatever device she created, she's like, it helps to create helps with your muscles. Your was it the Kegel? Kegel. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. Um, now, Alonzo and Vanessa are talking. Mm-hmm. And Vanessa divorced in 2019. Remember, she's the one that married the um, the white man and is now fight the power. She was never married. Vanessa? She, Vanessa didn't say she was married to a white man. She said she dated. No, she said she was married to a white man. Oh. She's divorced, yeah. I thought she said that her last and her last her her last boyfriend. I thought she was saying it was her last boyfriend. I could be wrong. Y'all go ahead. I I thought she was y- saying her last know. boyfriend. Either way, the last person that she the person that she was with because I thought I have my in my notes that she divorced in 2019. Yeah, but we didn't know. I think she that's 2014. But her dating life, she said no, the no, last no. person she dated was no, a no. I'm not talking about Rashid. I'm talking about Vanessa. Oh, Vanessa, Vanessa, the flight attendant. The flight attendant, my bad. She was married in 2000, in, in 2019. Her divorce to a white man ended. I see. And so she's talking to Alonzo, and Alonzo's trying to talk to her, but mm-hmm. it was awkward. She she wasn't going anything deep. She was just kind of mm-hmm. like, she was, and it was like, he. it was almost like. I don't like think she, was, wasn't, she wasn't interested, and I think that's what Alonzo said, because like she had other conversation with other men, True. and it seemed to go a lot better. Possible. I guess Alonzo well, wasn't possible. black. He we wasn't see black her. enough for her. Isn't Alonzo the one who got the uh, dreads? Right. Okay, so how is that not black enough for I'm you? just saying in her world. <laughs> Whatever. So anyway, um, Chaz is filling Rashina. Mm-hmm. Now, she has two boys, mm-hmm. and he does say he wants to be married and have kids. Mm-hmm. Um, and Chaz does open up some that he had a child that lived to be about six months old. Yeah, and passed away. And he said that that caused him to not want to attempt again. So mm-hmm. what we get from that is that it was, you know, it, it's a traumatic experience. Oh, yeah. Period. Imagine. Right? My goodness. Um, but he's like, you know, that he had almost closed the door mm-hmm. on that. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the question is, is he now ready to open the door on that again? Mm-hmm. Or is that something he's just kind of like, no, I don't want that heartache, that potential heartache again? Well, it's what work did you do mm-hmm. during that time? Because I know a lot of times when couples lose a child, especially at a young age, mm-hmm. they tend not to do well as a couple. Right. Um, and so there's a, has to be a lot of work to the grief of losing a child. Yes. So. Yeah. I can understand. Um, so there kind of that could be a connection there, right? It's possible. Yeah, it's a good possible. Um, Patrice is filling Alonzo. Mm-hmm. Now, Patrice is 42, Alonzo was 30, 35, so seven year difference. Not a major it's difference. It's not a major difference. It's not like 52 and 23. Right. Right. Um, but she says that she was married 18 years ago. Yeah, that's way back. So that's way back. So the question is, has she done the work? But in the meantime, mm-hmm. That's where we find out that, yes, she likes them young. Mm-hmm. And 
he's not the youngest. So if she's no, he's 42, 19. let's let's just say 30. That's a 12 year difference. Now that is a 12 year, yeah. Right. I'm getting a little or bit out we, of your or decade. If going, or if we're going a little, little younger, right? We're talking high school, like he just graduated last Stop. week. Stop. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm just Don't saying. Stop. She didn't no. say how young, right? I'm assuming but, but at least assuming 21, 23. That might be an idea. So. Can't guarantee that. We'll get but, clarity from her. Yeah. Um, so then they have, they do the game, a similar game to like they did in the previous one. Mm-hmm. Long story short, Maya wins. Maya was paying the most attention mm-hmm. to. I didn't think she was paying attention at all. Because she didn't seem very deep either. She didn't. But she picked up on enough. Mm-hmm. Which. I don't know if that's in her favor or a negative against the others that maybe they weren't paying enough attention. <laughs> right. And I thought we were, going as women, I thought we tend to do a lot better in finding details. Well, these but ladies did not pick up on a lot of details. A lot. Um, There's probably a lot going on. Yes. It, yeah, I get that. Yeah, because you got the cameras, you got them in face, you're trying to focus on what's going on. Then you find out that it's not all of you, and you you trying to understand what I had this concept of how I was going to come in compared to what's going but on. But the guys last week, it was only two guys out of that group last week that did not pay attention at all. Yeah, but this group, it was common. like a bunch of the ladies. <laughs> but but my, my point is this, is that um, when you had the men having to pay attention, mm-hmm. The majority of the men, not they were not perfect, but they right. They up have on more. Things. Yeah, they, they were more. more. For this one, the ladies were like deer oh. in the headlights. Yeah. So, um, after the game, there's more conversation. Of course, Tommy is letting them know, hey, ladies, y'all, ladies, y'all better step up your game because the brother is gonna be making a decision soon. Uh, Alonzo asked three words to describe sex, and mm-hmm. I forget who it was they were talking to, but we find out he has a foot fetish. Mm-hmm. And can't think of the um, it's the one that had the blue dress on with the long hair. Um, was that Patri- Patricia? I think that the was Patricia. Tech recruiter, yeah. Yeah, she's like, you suck toes, you suck toes. I don't, I don't know if she had a bit a bad toe sucking experience, <laughs> cause she kept asking that when you know it's like someone mm-hmm. said, oh, I'm into feet or I want your feet to look good. The the next question is, do you suck toes? I'm like, brother man didn't do it right. Right. Like, what? <laughs> or, or Did he maybe, try to bite the, or, the bunion? What is maybe he on? kissed her too soon as far as, you know, after finding toe jam in between her toes. I mean, <laughs> don't know. Don't know. But then we also find Jonathan has a foot fetish as well. Yes. So, now, there's a... Let's, let's, Granted, there's now a your difference. toes should look like you shouldn't have two toes on one toe. Right. <laughs> and your toes should be throwing up gang signs. <laughs> Right, so I think every man appreciates nice feet. Right, right. But there's some that take it to an another extreme yes. that it's like your feet gotta be right. Like, are you going to get your pedicures, manicures? Are you taking care of them feet? Right. So. <laughs> See, gang signs. <laughs> so got crips with toes. So then uh, Tommy ga- grabs the guys and he's like, "Okay, who y'all feeling? Who y'all mm-hmm. not feeling?" Mm-hmm. Lamar and Jonathan are both kind of like digging my area. Mm-hmm. Chaz is feeling Roshina and Vanessa. Mm-hmm. Alonzo's feeling Leyland and Patrice mm-hmm. and so on. Um, as far as the bottom, right? And I think Patricia was the one that they were like, she's just getting, giving those homie vibes. They're just saying she's mm-hmm. more friend mm-hmm. than romance. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's like, it's always the one person. It's always one person, in my opinion, in and ready to love mm. as far as the ladies who kind of get that that moniker if you will get that yeah that statement because a lot of times you find out it's the one that goes out and socialize a lot mm-hmm. and so she may be more selective right in her opening up so i get it yeah so tommy lets the ladies know bottom three is gonna was vanessa patricia and rashina mm-hmm. right um, so like we mentioned, um, Patricia is the one that is gone. Mm-hmm. Um, and she even, if I remember, she starts to cry a little cause she was, Oh yeah. Cause she said, I put in the work, but the men felt that she was guarded Yeah, and the way she was sharing, she was sharing like she was guarded. Yeah. Cause it, Jonathan is the one that's the Nigerian, right? Yep. When they were having a conversation, it looked like he wanted to run. He was mm-hmm. done. He yeah. was like, 
girl, you need to do some more work. And when a man can sense or feel like right. you're still hurt, you bringing up or you're mentioning how men have treated you in the past mm -hmm. and, you know, you don't want to be hurt again, yeah. um, which granted, no one wants to be hurt again. Right. But it's the way that it it came off in that conversation. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a matter of you want to put your best foot forward, and there's a way, in my opinion, to guard yourself mm -hmm. without coming across as guarded, mm -hmm. right? In other words, what what probably could have worked in her favor mm -hmm. is asking more questions of the person that she's talking with. Mm -hmm. Sharing where there's commonalities mm, without opening up about your trauma. That's good. Right. In other words, you know, what? Well, how's your past relationship? Cool. Yeah, this is what happened in my past relationship. Now you may not get very deep into yeah. all of the trauma yeah. of it, but you, you, because yes, you do have to protect your heart, mm -hmm. male and female, right? Mm -hmm. You do have to protect yourself, mm -hmm. and you don't want to share too much too fast. Mm -hmm. But there is a way to share just enough. Mm -hmm. So that you open up just a little, mm -hmm. and it's like if I can trust you with that, then I'll open up more. Mm -hmm. And then if I can trust you with that, then I'll open up more until you have my heart. Right. But if we are in a place in a position where everything is closed up, and I'm not letting you in until I feel until I, I get that point that I can trust you, then you're missing out on opportunity. But there is a way to open up gradually that to allow sense. that person to, or at least discover who you can trust with the real trauma, who you can trust with the real heartache, the real pain, what have you. Yeah. So um, so next week, of looks like, of course, we'll start to really, one, we'll have the two, the A team and the B team meet up. They're coming together. And there'll be some shifting, I'm sure, because right now, all if all you've been on the A team, seeing the A team and talking to the A team, you see something from the B team, you're, you're like, like, hey. I'm going to trade you for a player to be named now. <laughs> so, so we see that um, Lamar looks like he ticks off. I forget who it was. Was it Vanessa? I believe it was. Somebody who was on a date with, and she was like, oh, no, no, we done. We this ain't, yeah. There's no need to even have the, oh, no, it was, Bring the I check. think it was April from the previous week. Maybe it was. So, yeah. We're going to see what we'll goes see. down. Um, this week, this, so, excuse me, this season seems to have, some drama, of course, that'll pop off. Mm -hmm. um, we see, what's his name? Um, Dreadlock Dude. Um, we see Alonzo in one of the clips for the trailer, if you mm -hmm. will, getting on his knees for someone. I forget who it was. So Seemed like it was Vanessa. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll, see. we'll be here for all of this season. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know your thoughts. Let us know we, what we might have missed. Mm -hmm. And which couples y'all are, are think or your predictions, that even as far as like who you think may continue forward mm. from now because there's always going to be a couple that meets at the mixer mm -hmm. that kind of progresses a little bit later as on. a couple later on mm -hmm. so we'll see okay. all right let us know we'll see y'all next time have a great one be blessed bye